Okay, hello, this is the tutorial about how to install the necessary things and get started uh, developing programs that run on a BBC micro bit using C++. Uh, a micro bit, which I assume you know what it is, is like a little educational micro bit, uh, not outputs, just micro bit. It's like a little educational computer chip thingy that you can write programs for and it's got this little 5x5 LED display, a couple of buttons, it's got like uh, Bluetooth radio, some other stuff and it's just like a cool little sort of toy basically. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is you need to, um, all the links that I mentioned will be in the note in the description of the video. So the first thing you need to do is download the Yotta Windows installer. Uh, if I click that it will download. So basically from the top of this page it says installation windows it pulls you it basically just scrolls the page down to here Yotta Windows installer so you install it and then that's what's here Yotta install.exe so I click that so I can close this page now it should start to run if I pull that up a bit there you go next agree Leave it. I, I leave it as C Yotta, but you have to remember where you install it to if you change it. Uh, and then I put git scm as well because there's a chance you're going to want to pull repositories down from git, I guess. Uh, and now it's just a matter of waiting for things. So while we're doing that, you can download this, which is something that is needed for Yotta to be able to compile uh, target in the micro bit. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it says I wrote a code when I was looking for programs to manipulate EEPROM load files. I could not find very many, so it's basically a, a program for manipulating EEPROM load files. Um, so you click download, and then we have a bunch of stuff, but the ones we want are the pre-compiled Windows executables, which apparently lag behind slightly by the latest version. So I, I mean, I guess you could compile your own version, but click this link and then the latest one which is what I've got you can see 1.64 win32 zip which is what that is so I don't need to download that either it's here already and um, we'll come back to what we do on that and this is notepad plus plus which is something you should probably get I'll link to this as well because I use notepad plus plus to edit um, basically to edit code so it's worth having uh, you can get the current version very easily I'll close that and this is a link to could not uninstall oh this is because I uninstalled um Yotta previously so that I could make this video because I wanted to have the installer run without saying you've already got this program installed. So that's just an error from that. Um but yeah this is code reference so if you when you want to look up something say like you want to look up how to do stuff with images you go you can look through or you want to look at the message bus or the, bus or the buttons or like compass or whatever you can look at all the reference for it on here and it tells you like code snippets and stuff and how to store things in you know just do things how to do stuff uh, so then we need to go to where we installed Yotta which is in C slash Yotta open this zip file that we downloaded before and find srec underscore cat and just copy that into here and that's the thing that we need and then we need what I did I don't know you can do whatever you want but I have a folder called projects like that and then inside projects you make yourself a new folder new folder and call it whatever you want so I'm going to call it tutorial and then you have to go oh that's the wrong I just got the wrong link there don't worry about it pull that off here um, okay so we need to go you can run Yotta using this okay and then we need to change directory to this directory so we can see the so I just copy pasted it from here and see projects Yotta tutorial change directory and we're there and now we need to 
Yotta init, which is like initializing Yotta into that, and you'll see some folders occur appear over on that side. Uh, oh, also, no, I forgot about this. I was waiting for it to appear, but actually, what it wants you to do is name uh, enter the version, so we can leave it at default. The executable, yes, it is an executable. I don't know. I know from the thing that I found this information from, they said to use yes, so I did, and it works. Uh, tutorial for YouTube. Author Daniel Free. And now it's created the folders up there. Um, so now we need to do another thing because we need now that we've got Yotta working, it still doesn't know that um, it still doesn't know that it's being programmed for a micro bit. So we need to tell it to target the micro bit. So we say Yotta target BBC dash micro bit dash classic dash GC, GCC. So now it's doing yep it's done that and it's targeted to the, to, to the correct thing. And then we also need to add a um, so this is another Yotta command we need to add a dependency to the micro bit library. So because we're programming for a micro bit, we've got a library that is that basically consists of all of the possible micro bit commands. So when you if you've ever done programming in C or C before and you in, include math.h or you include like some other library like that and then you use the functions from it. This is what we're doing here. We're just included. We're basically just downloading the necessary requirements whoops, uh, for the your, uh, micro bit library. So it's Yotta install Lancaster dash university dash no slash micro bit and it should do a bunch of stuff there as well. And then I've got some copy paste code that I'm just going to paste in. Once it's done. So yeah, now now we now we're good. We can do whatever we want. So in the source folder, we need to make some we need to have a if we were to build a test code So this is one of the reasons you need Notepad Plus, plus, I guess. So yeah, if we were to build it now, it would try to build. Well, I don't think it would because that's a .txt file. So if we build it without anything in there, it would try to build, and it would be like there's nothing in any of the folders, so we're not bothered. Uh, so now we need to open this in Notepad Plus Plus, and I want to paste in this code, which isn't a massive amount. It's just a little, a little bit. So what we've got is it includes the micro bit library which we downloaded, so micro bit h. Then it instantiates the micro bit object. Then the main method uses the micro bit object we instantiated, initializes it, and then uses one of its built-in functions, display display dot scroll to scroll the text new program. So we could scroll tu uh, tutorial tutorial. Uh, and then, or whatever one you want to put in that string, and then release fiber. Just if you look at any code examples, um, it will always have the release fiber because it's something to do with the way that the micro bit itself works, and it's sort of like a thread. And that means that when you release the fiber, it is like saying to the thread manager, "Kill this thread," and if it's the last thread, it will end the program. And it it says in the default program that comes with it it says something like the worst case scenario if everything fails and goes wrong it sits in a very um, power unintensive sleep state if that all goes wrong whereas if you didn't have that it could just try and be doing things but it isn't if the main incorrect, uh, incorrectly exits 
So basically you just want this code, uh, which I'll put in my description, and you paste that in, save it, and then you type Yotta space build, and it should. Oh, I didn't change, I didn't actually save that as anything. So I'd be, su I'd be surprised if this actually did anything. So it's probably just building all the project files. So because you want to go save as, and then in Notepad++ click um, C++ source file, and then change that to CPP for C++. Then save it, and you see also it's changed the highlighting in Notepad as well. So now we've got tesco.txt and tesco.cpp, so I'm going to get rid of .txt, leave cpp there, and then type yotta, yotta build again. It's always quicker the next time because it's built all the um, prerequisite stuff first. And then you go back over directory, you can see that build has appeared, so you click on that, there's only one possible folder, and then this, hello, Hello. It doesn't work correctly. Oh no, it has source. So yeah, you go one folder deeper. So you go build, classic, source. And in source, you get this tutorial combined dot hex. And what you want to do is plug in your micro bit at this stage, which should pop up in a second. There you go. So you plug it in and then you just open your computer and you should see it appear I mean this is this much is like I think you have to do this for every way of developing with it and then you just drag that onto there and it should scroll the text so yeah you just drag it across I'm not doing it because there's already a program that I want to keep running on mine um, so you drag that across drop it onto there and it should take a couple of seconds to copy over and then you'll be there, it'll, it'll update and it'll scroll across the text whatever you put in and then obviously you and then obviously you can scroll any pro, put any program you want onto the you can write any program you want and then copy it across in the same way and that's basically it so we can make this do whatever we want um, and you can just look at the this code examples this uh, code reference I should say so to find out what what different things what you what you want to do and you can also search it so if I want to know stuff about the buttons let's say overview of the micro bit buttons the buttons blah 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 and it gives you all the stuff you need to know about the buttons so you can just find out I'll provide all these links obviously and you can find out about what you need to do and how you need to, and how you want to write the code for it and there you go that's sort of that's pretty much it uh, the only reason I made this video is because I didn't see a very well um, basically I didn't see what I wanted to find on YouTube and I had to go looking around around some other sites and like I followed a text tutorial and a, and a couple of other things uh, I'll include the text tutorial actually because it's pretty useful and it's nice to have the um, the commands written somewhere that you, so you know it's nice to have them just nice to have everything uh, so I'll, I'll link to that as well but I followed that and did a bunch of other stuff the the thing with this S record, I, I'm not sure what it was that I found out that you have to just copy the correct exe into the the root directory of Yara. But yeah, I, that's that was one of the things that I struggled with. Well, not struggled with, but just didn't really know what I was doing, and then I saw that and it was fine. So yeah, I hope this is helpful. Um, I've had a little quite, I've had a little sort of, you know, quite a good time messing with the micro bit stuff. I've currently got it generating a sine wave in the pixels um, on the LED display. Uh, my intention, I guess, is to try and make it use like a line drawing algorithm to draw lines and then use the buttons to move the two points that it draws the lines from and to around. So, like, it moves them around the perimeter of the circle, of the square, sorry. So then it, it draws the line from one to the other. Um, and th yeah, that's about it. I, I guess if I ever make that, I'll probably make a video about it and try and record real life instead of just recording my screen. 
But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if there's anything that you don't really follow very well, and I'll respond and try and help if that's possible. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.